Schneider, our chef, who yeah. never comes out in public. I'm thanking him first because I know he's going to disappear. So. Josh, you exceeded our expectations. You've been instrumental in the success of the Walker House, and we could not be more proud of you and your team. And what you do in that kitchen is freaking amazing. So thank you. So on that note, I should thank the rest of the Walker House team. Um, Robert and I are so proud of the team here, what they have accomplished in these last few years, the dedication and loyalty and the fact they just keep showing up every day and they try harder and harder to make the guest experience better. Um, they're always listening to Linda, who is the voice of the customer. And anytime we want to do something, we bounce it off of Linda to make sure she says yes. And this is Linda. Come on out here, Linda. I won't tell you her age, it might, it might piss her off, but you wouldn't guess it, I can guarantee you that. Um, also would like to thank our GM, Sasha. Sasha came in about a year ago. Honestly, I just feel like we adopted another son. He has just been fabulous and he's fit in so well and driven a great culture and we adore him and we thank him for everything that he has done. And he puts up with Robert and I. I'd like to say a special thank you to Mr. Craig Ninehouse, our, our guest this evening. I've had the pleasure of following him around the country, literally. Um, Craig plays at a lot of events and he did this as a special favor to us. Um, I'm not a hockey fan, everyone knows that, but at one point uh, he actually played for the Boston Bruins, I thought I should mention that. And not only is he really crazy talented, I think he's super handsome. <laughs> I'd like to say a very special thank you to Min and Angela. Um, Priscilla's parents are up here with some of their family. And honestly, um, I can't thank you enough for the daughter that you have raised. She is an extraordinary young woman. Um, she's bright, she's beautiful on the inside and out, and we are just so thrilled that she's going to be part of our crazy family. I hope she can stand it. <laughs> Honestly, she's perfect. She's a little weak on the hugging, but we're working on it. <laughs> she's trying. I didn't plan to talk tonight because I can't compare with Mary. I just so overwhelmed for everybody here draw such a long distance to Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> but for Mary and Robert, Jake is a good boy. <laughs> Priscilla, Priscilla said to me that mom, Jay can't wait to call you mommy, mommy, mommy. I said, no, 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 not until you get married. I want to thank Mary and Robert. I cannot say enough. I don't have anything to say anymore today about overwhelmed with all the planning, all the engagement party, that she doesn't have to do this at all. <laughs> and I'm thank you for everybody. Help us up. So. <laughs> That's a perfect segue to Priscilla. <laughs> so what I can tell you when I met Priscilla, it was love at first sight, for me anyways. I don't know about her. I don't know if everybody knows the story, but I was a patient at Sunnybrook Hospital and I was looking bad and feeling bad. It was, a wrong, it, was, it was just a bad experience. And in the morning, in walked this beautiful nurse with a ponytail and a big smile. And she just made me feel better. She took great care of me, and I don't know very many parents who get to see their children actually in their trade. And I feel very fortunate that I got to see this young woman in her 
nursing experience and what a great nurse. And in fact, I would say if there's a few more nurses like her, the world would be a better place. Um, so I, she had me at hello, basically. And uh, I won't belabor it, but I really knew that she needed to meet Jake. <laughs> my best setup ever. How to pick out your own daughter-in-law. But she's a lovely girl and we've gotten to know her very well and I just, I'm really, really thrilled. Um, next thing I want to talk about, next thing, person, is Jake. Um, Jake is, Jake's like a ping pong. He just, he just bounces it around. He, he brings energy and enthusiasm to everything that he does. He's hard to keep up with. Um, isn't he? Marty's giving me the look like, yeah, I do. <laughs> Marty babysat Jake forever. In fact, she half raised him. Um, but uh, he's just a magnificent person. And about five years ago, Jake underwent some real severe health issues. And what was amazing to me was watching just how he handled that and his resiliency and his good spirit and, and great attitude. And I think he taught us all a lesson, but I can tell you since that time, we celebrate everything. I mean, if, if you get a toenail removed successfully, I'll have a party. You know? Because when you go through those kinds of situations, it really does make you think that you just got to enjoy life. And that's, that's what that experience did for all of us. Um, he's just a, he's a special young man. He works hard. Um, four years ago, when Robert and I decided we thought it would be smart to buy a restaurant, what the hell were we thinking? Um, and uh, we knew nothing about the restaurant business, but we thought we'll just see if Jake would take a flyer and come up here and do it. And he did, and he did it well. And I won't, he told me, please mom, don't talk about my success at work, but he did, he created a social media strategy. Okay, can I? No, okay, he's giving me the look. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Um, but he is just a, he's just a wonderful, wonderful young guy. Just can't say enough nice things about him. Uh, Corey, where's Corey? Corey's right there, always quietly hiding. Dad. But uh, come on out there, Dad. Uh, Corey, Corey, Robert, and I, and Dad. the grandparents, we're just, we're so proud of him. And what I learned about these two is they work in lockstep together. Like, they're a really nice pair. They, they kind of, come on in. There's Jake's dad, he looks just like him. <laughs> and Jake's grandpa's in here, both of them, so. The only thing that's really missing tonight is uh, Grandma Diane and Papa Dave. This is Grandma Diane's birthday today, so it's kind of special that we would celebrate tonight and we miss her. Um, I know that uh, Mrs. Ho is somewhere smiling because she would have loved to have been here because she just loved Jake. And uh, so we're sorry that they're not here tonight, but we know that they are they're thinking about us and enjoying it. So. Um, with that, I'm going to just turn it over. Oh, actually, no, I'm supposed to be doing a toast. <laughs> so before I turn it over to Jake, um, I would like to propose a toast to Priscilla and Jake. See, Priscilla taught me that. Always say the woman's name first. I screw that up every time. Um, a special toast to Priscilla and Jake to a long and happy life together and healthy and lots of grandchildren. <laughs> Was that too much, Priscilla? Um, we are tickled. Priscilla, if you need anything from us, we're a phone call, a text message, or an email away. We have your back. We'll support you both. And just a toast to a long and happy life together to Jake and Priscilla. Priscilla and Jake. You're here. And welcome to my wedding. <laughs> everyone for coming today. Um, we really appreciate everyone taking the time away from their families, work, whatever, um, to be here to celebrate with us. Um, thank you obviously to my family for making the track as well. Um, thank you to Mary and Robert for hosting this beautiful evening. Um, I don't think the Walkers has ever looked as good before. <laughs> um, I remember the first time I came to Southampton and we were walking down the street and I think several people either honk their cars to say hello to Jake, 
or stopped us on the side of the road to say hello. And I remember thinking, who is this guy? <laughs> and he turned out to be the best human and the absolute best partner for me to share my life with. So, thank you. It was a good one. So in mum's excitement, uh, she ended up taking my uh, champagne flute. <laughs> On point tonight, mum. <laughs> to your day. <laughs> um, uh, another thing too is I just actually want to say uh, to the Walker House team, honestly, you guys did a great job. And you have no idea how much fun I have, like, moving tables with you guys. It's the, it's the best. Um, uh, one thing that was missed, too, is that nothing could have been done without uh, the good help of Josh, our uh, head chef. Um, honestly, he I had so many questions that I didn't know what I was doing. I know nothing about food. I couldn't do anything in a kitchen to save my life. But that guy, without him, oh my god, I just, he's the best. Um, uh, another thing is, uh, I'm not used to having a microphone in front of me all the time, so. Um, yeah, and also, thank you again for everyone coming. It's awesome that you're here. Um, I look at the support that we have to start our life together. It's amazing. Um, couldn't ask for a better room full of people in my life, so thank you very much for coming. Um, I want to do a nice thank you to uh, Angela and Min. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Mrs. Tran. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> soon, soon though. <laughs> um, uh, I love your daughter so much, and uh, I remember when we always talked and you're like, Jake, do you think you can actually move to the city and, you know, um, kind of just make the move and start a new career? And um, uh, and I want you to know I've never been so happy in my entire life. And um, I'm really excited to, you know, for the future. It's going to be great. Um, guys, thank you very much. And uh, I just want to say cheers to uh, family and friends. Um, thank you very much for coming. It's, I love you guys. Party time. I'm gonna talk on the mic all night, so uh, here we go. Mary, are you done? <laughs> We're gonna let you off the hook now and have Mr. Ninehouse come back and if he wants. Keep singing. Thank you everybody and have a great night. Please take a cab if you're drinking too much. Drink all you want. Just Get home safe.